about Columbus Grove. Head coach Andy Schaefer in his game day shorts, no matter the temperature. First quarter, hand off to Joey Warnicke. Here comes some power running against Tiffin Calvert, breaking tackles and dragging defenders. And Reed Steckshelty goes to the air. Looking deep over the middle, Bailey Clement, nice catch down to the 13 yard line. Sets up this Joey Warnicke 33 yard field goal. And he nails it. Nice kick. Grove up three to nothing on Calvert early. Later in the first, Steck Schulte finds David Bogart, and he's got some room to run, racing up the far sideline. Tripped up in Calvert territory. Almost broke that for a TD. The drive would stall out though. So second quarter now, Brant Fallis with a nice tackle in the backfield. It's three to nothing Bulldogs at the half. Early in the third quarter, Warnicky takes the inside handoff and finds a lane. Fantastic moves all the way for the score. 46 yards, touchdown gives Grove a 10 to nothing lead. It was a defensive game and the Dogs defense was fantastic today. Eli Schrader comes away with the big over the shoulder interception. And later in the third quarter, Calvert with the ball again. Grove forces a fumble and Logan Diller is there to fall on it. Turnover is a big factor in this game. Still 10 to nothing and more good defense. Bogart, the nice pass breakup on fourth down to force the turnover on downs. In the fourth quarter now, Steck Schulte bobbles the snap, but that doesn't prevent him from throwing a strike downfield. Clement is there, breaks a tackle, and see ya. That's a touchdown. Gives Grove a 17 nothing lead, and they go on to win 17-7 the final for Coach Schaefer. It's a real thrill to know that his team will be playing in a regional final next Saturday. <laughs> it feels great. It's been a long time since Grove's been back to week 13, and we're, we're just excited. It's, it's been a fun group of kids to coach, and we just really come together as a family and a unit, and uh, the kids are just having fun right now. We've been through a lot this season, and uh, we had a, a tough schedule, and the guys just really believe in themselves and, and got each other's back. And you can see not just one person making plays, but a lot of people. Uh, defense, offense, and special teams. Special teams was really, a, I think, the key. Uh, the field position of the game was huge for us, so that was good. Look at the bracket. Arlington will square off against Columbus Grove next Saturday, 7 p.m. Site to be determined. So in Division 7, we've got four local teams, two in Region 24, two in Region 26. Very